Hello and welcome to ArtCam. In this series of videos, we're going to show you how to get started using the software. When you open up ArtCam, you'll be greeted by this welcome screen and it has the six videos to get you started. If you take a look on the left hand side, you can click recent models. This will take you to a list of recent models that you've used that you can just select to open. You also have options, which will just open the options for ArtCam, so you can change any of the options prior to opening a model. This can also be done when you're actually in the software. Select it again and it will close it. You can go to Help. This will take you to various links. We have the Autodesk ArtCam knowledge base, tutorials on YouTube, the forum, documentation, and what's new within the software. So there's a lot of help available here. Also down the bottom left hand corner, we have links to sites such as Facebook, YouTube, Instructables, just so you can get even more help within the software. So if we go back to welcome, it takes us back to the videos, but above the videos, we also have new model and open. Now if I select new model, this will give me the new model dialog box and you can enter the width and the height of the model that you'd like to produce. Also, you can adjust the resolution. Now the resolution is basically how clear the reliefs that you create are going to be. So it's much like a television. The higher the resolution, the better quality that it will be. Now saying that, the higher that you do it, the more intensive this will be on your computer. We also have the units that you want to work in, metric or imperial. And we also have a sheet, which is just a white area. And in the center, there's a red right angle. Now this just denotes where the origin is or your zero zero for that model. Okay, now if you want to change that to somewhere where your machine origin is, if you click on the bottom left, you can select any of the four corners and you can also select back to the center if you wished. So when you create a new model you will open up ArtCam within the 3D view and it will be a view from the top. Now if we take a look at the icons on the far left hand side we have all of the design tools for vectors and the editing tools for vectors Across the top, we have more vector tools. These are more for laying out the vectors or creating multiple copies of the vectors. And then as you come further over, we have relief creation, relief editing. And then finally, we have the tool paths. So this is a workflow for the icons. If you take a look at the bottom, you can see the color palette. So these are the colors that are available within this particular model, if you were to open up an image, you would see a lot more colors under the bottom here. On the right hand side, we have the view toolbar. So this allows you to view vectors, turn them on or off, view the zero plane, which is this yellow rectangle that you see at the moment. You can also change the actual view that you'd like to see. So let's say that I wanted to see an isometric view. I can select there. Now you'll notice that that was a flyout menu then. Now that's denoted by a small triangle in the bottom right of the icon. If you ever see a small triangle in the bottom right of the icon, that means that there's actually a menu hiding underneath there. And to select it, just left click, hold the mouse button down and it will fly out. And then you can select one of these and it will automatically remember the last icon that you selected from that list. On the right of the view is what we call the project tree. And this is basically an area where you have all of your vector layers, bitmap layers, relief layers, clip art, sheets, and also your toolpath data. So if I open up vectors, you can see I've got this default layer. If I had another vector layer, it would be shown under here and I could turn them on or off or change the color of those, for instance. 
Now underneath the project is what we call the model information area. So at the moment, because I have Untitled selected up here, you can see that it's just telling me what the actual size of the model is and the resolution of this. If I were to select, let's say, vectors, you can see I get some vector commands, select reliefs, I get some specific relief commands. If I select toolpaths, that takes me into the toolpaths that are available within ArtCam. So you can see I've got some operations. I've also got some 2D toolpaths. I've got a 3D toolpath and the simulation. Any of the commands that are available will be in the drop down menus at the top here. So anything that you can't find for this specific version of ArtCam will be in the drop down menu. Now, as I said before, we're currently in the 3D view. If I go to the 2D view, notice what happens with the view toolbar on the right. So if I select by selecting that tab, you can see that I go to the 2D view and you can see that a lot of the icons from the view toolbar are now grayed out because I just can't use them in the 2D view. Now, if I wanted to move this around, I can zoom in or out by using the scroller on the mouse. I can pan by selecting the left and right mouse button together, and I can pan that around like so. You can zoom in on an area wherever your mouse pointer is. Now, if I go to the 3D view, exactly the same process. I can pan with the two mouse buttons, I can zoom in and out, but I can also hold the middle mouse button down and it will rotate the view. And finally, if you happen to close anything or mess anything up and you wanna go back to how this originally looked, let's say for instance, I got this project and I happen to put that down there, which doesn't look great. I happen to close the design icons and I want to go back to the original. You can do that by selecting Window and then select Reset Layout. And this will take you back to how it originally looked.